Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this problem. So find the difference of two given vectors, vector A and vector B. So to find the difference of two vectors, that's A plus negative B. So therefore, we need to find the opposite of this vector B. That's negative B, then equals, copy the given distance, 5 meters. Then find the opposite direction. So the opposite of east, that's west. Then plot this one in a plane. This one is north, south, east and the west then for vector a that's 60 degrees north of east and this one is north of east that's 60 degrees and vector a is equal to 7 meters then for this vector negative b to the west and this one is west from the point of vector A so therefore this one is vector negative B and that's 5 meters to the west so this is now the resultant vectors or the difference of these two vectors so to find the difference using this formula, the cosine law, that's equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b, then cosine theta. So to find angle theta from this given angle, using the transversal angle so this angle is equal to this angle so if this one is 60 degrees this one is also 60 degrees so we're going to use this 60 degrees as our angle theta so to solve now for the difference we have d equals the square root of a squared and a that's 7 so we have 7 squared plus b that's 5 so we have 5 squared then minus 2 times a so a is 7 b b is 5 then cosine theta and theta is 60 degrees then to simplify, so we have this 7 squared, this one is 49, plus 5 squared, that's 25, then minus, for this 2 times 7 times 5 times cosine 60, so we have 2 times 7 times 5 times cosine 60, equals that's 35 so minus 35 then to solve for this we have the square root so that's 49 plus 25 then minus 35 then equals so that's 39 so we have this 39 then simplify so d is equal so for the square root of 39 equals so d is 6.24 so d is 6.24 meters so this is now the difference of these two vectors then to find this angle so we can have angle theta so using the sine law but first we need to find this angle so using the sine law so we're going to use this variable d 
that's D over sine 60 degrees, the opposite angle. So D and the opposite angle, that's 60, then equals, since we're looking for this angle and the opposite side is B, so we name this one as angle B. So we have B over sine B. Then to find the value, so D, that's 6.24, then over sine 60, this one is the opposite angle, then equals B or negative B, that's 5 over sine B, then apply cross multiplication, so this one is 6.24. 24 times sine B equals 5, then sine 60 degrees. Then to solve for sine B, so divide both sides by 6.24, divide by 6.24. So therefore, sine B is equal, so we have 5, then sine 60 degrees, then divide by 6.24 equals the 0 0.693931. So we have 0 0.693931. Then to solve for angle B, that's inverse sine. This 0 0.693931, so angle B equals, so we have this inverse sine, that shift, then sine, then 0 0.693931, then equals, that's 43.94. So angle B is 43.94. 94 degrees. So since this angle is equal to 43.94 degrees, and to find this angle, since the sum of these three angles is 180, so we can have theta is equal to 180 minus 43.94 then plus 60 degrees so 180 degrees minus 43.94 degrees plus 60 degrees so theta is equal to 180 degrees minus so this 43.94 plus 60 that's 103.94. So this one is 103.94 degrees. So theta is equal to, that's 180 minus 103.94 equals, that's 76.06. That's 76.06 degrees. So therefore, the difference of these two vectors, that's 6.24 meters at 76.06 degrees, we have this, the north of west.